Hey everybody and welcome to another video. This one is actually on a scam happening out in California and I want to thank the subscriber that sent it to me. You know who you are. Thank you. But you know during this pandemic people just seriously come up with scams left and right just to make a quick buck. So I want to share this one with you guys. So this is out of the Mercury News. Unemployment fraud scammers use complex schemes in California, EDD says. State labor investigators have begun to pierce a complex web of unemployment fraud it has helped catch and arrest 34 suspects for alleged scams linked to jobless scams in the government agency reported Thursday. Now this is as of September 17th, guys. The Employment Development Department investigators have engaged in multiple formal investigations that have teamed up with two federal agencies as well as officials in other states in an attempt to uh, crack the fraud rings in California. The ED said on Thursday, scammers are using complex profiles of stolen personal identifying information most likely obtained from national and global data breaches. It appears the scammers are attempting to intercept fraudulent items when they are mailed so they can cash in on jobless benefits, according to the EDD. One fraud ring operated out of Beverly Hills was broken up by law enforcement recently, according to the EDD. The Beverly Hills arrests were the result of one of several law enforcement investigations. More arrests related to fraudulent benefits in the state are expected. The department said in a prepared release, the labor agency zeroed in on a segment of jobless claims called Pandemic Employment Assistance, or PUA, which it helped to steer benefits to workers who typically would not qualify for regular unemployment benefits. These include gig workers, self-employed people, and small business owners. The state labor officials have been backdating the PUA claims now to speed up delivery of benefits to workers, but the backdated dating has created a vulnerability in the system that enabled fraud rings to capitalize in early months of payments. The EDD took action to shut down automatic backdating in the PUA program, the state agency said. Following that, PUA applications dropped sharply to 1,045,790 last week, declined more than 72%. The fraud problems are particularly addressing so many California residents out of work due to criminal. We just won't say that name. Linked business shutdowns. Even worse, people who have lost their jobs continue to complain they're unable to get through to live individuals at the EDD, broken call centers, and that glitches and errors bedevil and embattle state agency computer systems, which is based on a primitive programming language. Workers in California have filed 8.39 million initial claims for unemployment benefits during the six months stint since state and local government agencies began to impose business shutdowns to combat the virus. The EDD is grateful for public partnership in fighting fraud and protecting the UI program for California workers in need, the state labor, labor agency said Thursday. So guys, Quite simply, be careful. These programs are designed to help individuals that have not been fortunate. 
I myself have been fortunate that my job was deemed essential. But there are a lot of people in all 50 states where that has not been the case. And these programs are designed to help those individuals. And yet there are stupid people all over the place that want to capitalize on it for their own benefit. So my message to you guys, the scammers out there, get off your fucking ass and actually get a damn job. Because, you know, there's hardworking individuals, even like myself out there, who are just trying to make an honest living. And with this virus, many of them are still recovering. So programs like these is the only way to help them. So please, stop. Hope you guys found this enlightening. And hope you guys have a wonderful day.